Hello, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We are on the map, The Last Island. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get down to some business, my friends. So if you guys didn't know, well, excuse me, sir. If you guys didn't know, last episode, we had tamed ourselves a nice little griffin. Um, and then in this episode, I want another one. I want to, more specifically, I want a better griffin, okay? Don't, don't get me wrong, I love my little 95, my little level, but I want a high level griffin. I want a level 130 or higher, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, I've been, uh, I've been, I've been testing out the waters a little bit and, uh, you know, looking at the area a little bit. If I open up the map here, um, off the top of my head, I want to say there's about three different spawn locations for the griffins. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a little bit scared of griffins, they're pretty strong. However, I think today we're going to be doing a lot of killing as far as the griffins go. And this volume is killing me, brother. It's it's way too loud. It's way too loud. I'm sorry if it's low for you guys, but it's way too loud for me. All right, that's a little bit better. But yeah, in today's episode, we're going to be killing a lot of griffins. Um, now, there are a lot of dinosaurs down here. It's so one thing I love about the Griffins is the fact that they can fly so freaking fast. However, it uses a lot of stamina. If you can see, we're already like almost halfway. We're pretty much halfway doing our stamina already, um, which, you know, I don't like. Uh, and the higher level Griffin I have, the less I have to actually worry about that, which is one of the main reasons why I actually want to get a higher level Griffin. Um, so look, now I have to like sit down here and wait for my stamina to go back and regenerate but we can keep this griffin i think uh i think i might actually put something into melee here mainly because i'm not gonna be what is this apache huh but yeah mainly because i'm not gonna be using this guy for too long once we get our higher level one the only reason we're gonna be using him now is just to kill other griffins um and to make other griffins spawn like that's the, that's your only purpose as far as i'm aware of my my good my good griffin sir friend sir that's your only purpose the only one now, as far as the spawn locations go, um, I want to say that one spawns on the right side of that mountain right there. And then another one spawns on the left side of that mountain. And then the third one is somewhere in this area. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure as to where, but I've seen one spawn here before. At least I've seen one flying in this area before, but... Um, huh. T-Rex down there. Somewhere near is a griffin. I love this area, though. I feel like this is going to be a wonderful base for us. To, just because of the fact that so many different dinosaurs spawn. Like, look at this. A whole, a whole level 135 Rex. Okay, you can't. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, he's an alpha. Holy shit. That guy is... is that guy is oh my i've never seen an alpha rex that high level before like even finding just a level 135 rex and then there's a level 135 rex next to him an alpha a level 135 alpha rex and a level 130 bro this is why i love this area as soon as we get our level 130 griffin we're killing the rex we're, it's gonna be easy to kill him too since we're like oh hello be level 135 for me baby Level 20, come on, Griffin. Come on. We don't like that. Uh-uh. We don't like that. I uh So there that's the spawn location over there. And I wanna say there's one over here. Unless this the one over here also like you know goes with that one. Um because I don't see one over here already. Yeah, I don't see one over here already. So I think we're just going to kill that level 20 Griffin. Shouldn't be too hard. How many arrows do I have? I have 30 Trank arrows. Bro, I have one arrow. That's correct. Why didn't I think about getting more arrows before I... Before I thought about coming over here. I need more arrows. I need a lot more arrows. And then over here, guys, is our little bit of a uh, taming pin, if you will. Which you can see... We already got a griffin over here. Level 95. You know, this was level 96. This was level 95. Um, which it's just not good enough. Still not good enough for me. We need a level 130. We're still going to be using this guy. He's probably going to be what? Like level 110, level 111. Oh, this is plus 47 levels. 
It's like level 130 after. It's still not good enough. Still not good enough. He's going to replace him, but we're going to replace him. So we need to we need to go out. We need to look a little bit more. Just a little bit of tad. I think I'm going to go around this mountain here. Um, I need to see. Oh, oh, that was an artisan. I thought it was another griffin, but no, it's just an artisan. Honestly, maybe I should have upgraded the stamina on this guy instead of attack. But I promise you guys that Griffin spawns over here. We need to kill that level 20 regardless. But I just want to come over here briefly to see if the Griffin was over here. That usually spawns over here, but it doesn't look like he is. Just a bunch of Argentines. I do want to look at this. Uh, this is a blue or purple drop. This is a blue drop. I don't even know what a megalocerus. Definitely didn't pronounce that correctly. Don't know what you are. I hope you're cool. Maybe one day I'll tame you. Hopefully. Hopefully you want me one day. Where are you at, Griffin? I know you're in this crevice. Oh, there you are. Now, Griffin on Griffin battles are not the best at them. Let me make sure this is the level 20. All right, I'm not the best on Griffin on Griffin attacks. But we're gonna try. I think that did like 230 damage right there. Go up, come down, and swipe. 368 and we're low on stamina. Damn! Uh. Did you hit me? I don't know what's with these sound effects of mine. How much have I got? 20, 2300 health. Hmm. I only got one stone arrow. I should have definitely packed more stone arrows for me to kill this guy. Realistically. Would have helped. You know, 95 damage. Better than nothing. And we're back low on stamina. You see what I mean with the stamina situation? Can't do anything we got low stamina. I gotta come all the way over here and sit down. Is he following me? I think that's him right there. No, that's a Toronto nine. No, he's not he's not following me. I don't see him. He's not following me. But you see what I mean? It's just not good. It's just not a good situation when you have low stamina. But he's only level 20 though. That's the good part. He's only level 20. Which means I probably can swipe him like maybe twice. Two more times and he's out, I think. Swipe number one. There we go. And he's gone. All right, now we just got to wait, I guess, for the other one to spawn. I still want to try checking out... Is that an albino rex, bro? I can't even see him. Looks cool, though. I still want to check out uh, on the right side of this mountain. Because I promise you guys, it's not the only griffin spawn location. Promise you guys. Oh, wrong one. Oh, my gosh, bro. How many max, not even max, how, how many level 135 Rexes am I going to see today? It almost makes me want to just go Rex taming, which I need to. I need to make a Rex taming pin in these parks somewhere. It'll be very beneficial to me. And I do not see a griffin. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go. We're going to go a little bit over this way. Okay, okay, I'm looking around. Don't really see much of anything. Mm. Nope, don't see much griffin action. All right, let's go back to the mountain. I'm hoping a griffin has spawned by now. I mean, it's a possibility, right? 
I also hope I don't get eaten up by doing this. Because I do need Stam. That was a whole Rex right there, bro. And a whole freaking Panther is coming to kill me. Please. I just need my stamina, please. Thank you. Man, I just can't wait to get me like... Just like a Rex and just walk around and kill everything. That's that's what I'm waiting for. I want a Rex and I'm just going to walk around and kill everything. There's so many dinosaurs around and they're all just asking me, please eat me. You know what I mean? Eat me. I have to grant their wishes, man. You know? No griffin over here. No griffin over here, but we do got a drop. A drop that I am exploring. And it's it's bad. Eh, whatever. We'll take it. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do a little bit of adventuring. And I will see you guys back once I actually find the griffin. Okay, guys. I am back. And there, there's been a slight change of plans there's been a slight update okay it's been about two to three arc days all right it's been a while and um i haven't seen a single griffin in that entire time which is actually pretty crazy so i have some good news and i have some bad news the good news is we got stuff to do right we got some things to tame i'm excited about the uh, about what i have planned to tame the bad news is i can't find a griffin and i'm sad now my, my theory here my theory is that the reason why i can't find another griffin is because over there in the mountains over there in the mountains oh, speaking of uh things to tame okay over there in the mountains there's like a thousand artisans there's like a thousand artisans over there in the mountains so my theory was that okay the reason why i can't find any griffins is because that all of the artisans are taking up all the griffin spawns so my plan is to pretty much kill all the artisans except the ones that are high level which that one right there is a level 135 i want to save him because he's level 135 um and yeah we're pretty much just going to go ahead and massacre every single artisan that we see over there however I have some news my friends while we were over there i seen a level 150 rex you heard me right guys a level 150 tyrannosaurus rex and that is what we're gonna tame um i just need to make a trap for him um which means i need stone and considering the fact that uh we don't have a dodicarus Getting the stone required for that guy is seeming to be very, 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 very difficult. So that's what we're planning on doing right now. Uh, we just need a lot of stone. Um, and I need a Dodicarus to get that much stone, right? And the easiest way to just tame Dodicarus is does I have an Argentin, which I already have an Argentin at my base. However, my Argentin doesn't have a saddle. And that's what that's that's the reason why we're... Uh-oh. Uh it's going to take my turtle. That's the reason why we're killing these turtles. I don't know where the other turtle went. I know I killed him, though. Right, I've got no idea where the other turtle went. But that's the reason why we're killing these turtles. And we're going to be carrying these, uh, these, uh, Tyr uh the Triceratops here and Stegosauruses here. So we can get ourselves some curtain. Because we need 150 curtain, uh, for us to even make the saddle. And we got a lot of mutton on us. I should probably go to the Argentine and just feed this. But we got 62 so far. I think we got, like... 12 at the base or something like that so we got a little bit of work to do um i was hoping that it might have been easier than this but i it no it's arc nothing is easy in arc but i definitely need to tame that level 150 tyrannosaurus rex bro I, I could not see that guy go by i could not see that guy go by hopefully when we do go over here maybe possibly just you know there's a chance that we see a griffin Okay, just a small chance considering I haven't seen another griffin in like two, two, three arc days here. I don't know how long that is in real lifetime, but it's been like a while. I'm sad about it, but there's nothing I can do about it. So we're going to just be hoping that we see a griffin over here. If not, hey, level 150 Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is not a bad tame at all. Also got uh, some updates. Um, Besides Mr. Alpha Rex here, that's level 100 and... Uh, 
35. That's really scary. There's like five alpha raptors just in that area there. Is this one? Yeah, that's one of them. There's like five of them. There's like alpha raptors just like in that area, which I think is amazing. I was going to plan on taking the T-Rex over there to level him up, feed him some alpha raptors. You feel me? But uh, I'm not sure that I want to face a level 135 alpha Rex with just one dinosaur. I don't I don't think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to need at least three, at least three high level T-Rexes to face that 135 alpha, uh, that alpha Rex, bro at least three and this is going to be the first one out of the bunch um but just looking so far it's yeah it doesn't seem like we're going to be seeing any griffins here they usually spawn here Ooh, with dodicarus i need you what love are you were you the level 50 i saw level 55 honestly bro you might cut it I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you man you might cut it i mean i don't need like a high level dodicarus right now obviously i want one but i don't need like a high level one as long as you stay alive enough for me to go get a uh, argentin saddle my friend we, we're good okay we're good i just need an argentin saddle which honestly i might just make the taming pin over here i was planning on having this area over here be like my flying dinosaur taming area because like there's so many flying dinosaurs over here you got like you got like top three flying dinosaur there he is look at him all blacked out red eyes he's he's a fucking beast he's a monster and i i need him okay okay guys i need him okay i didn't mean to scream in your ears i'm sorry but i need him um but anyways let's go ahead and uh get over here to our argentavis feed him some mutton considering we just got some and we're not gonna do anything with it except let it spoil once we feed it to our Argentavis, this will be our first Argentavis that we tame here. In a while, actually. Eat up, eat up. What level are you going to be? 67. Ooh. Level 202. I like to see it. We have stats wise 1100 stamina. So much food. Dude, you, don't, you do not need that much food. It's disgusting. I'm not going to level him up. I'm just going to keep him at that level. Because uh, I do want to do some. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, I didn't want you guys to come over here as well. But, you know. You guys are like dogs. I like it. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to level him up because I want to do some I want to do some hatching with those guys um, and I need to compare stats. So I don't I don't want to like mess up my stat calculate, whatever you call it. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm trying to say. OK, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I see a turtle. I'm like a hawk. I see a turtle. I kill a turtle. You feel me? That's how it goes. That's how it goes down. Man, I love this Griffin. I can't wait till I get a higher level one. Keep in mind, this Griffin was level 100 and... Oh, no, no, no. He wasn't even level 100. He was just level 95. A level 95 Griffin. That's all that was. A level 95 Griffin. Imagine when I get, like, a higher level one, bro. Like, what? It's going to be insane. And it all starts with taming this uh, level 150. I don't know why it starts with taming the level 150 Tyrannosaurus Rex. But uh, let me tell you guys. It starts there, okay? It starts there. Um, what level are you? 20 or 55, 20, 100. We could take these guys out. We don't need to kill that many more. Maybe like no more than five more dinosaurs, I'm thinking. And we should, I think this was a level 20, right? Yeah, I should just kill him at this point. He's useless. He's not tame worthy. And he's just, he's just taking up space at this point. 60 damage. I got to get better at this. All right, take two, take two. There we go. 419, I just might not kill you because I forgot the fact that you guys take half damage because you're just that guy. Should I still kill him? I mean, what level is he? He was like level 20 something, all right? Oh, there we go. There we go, like to see it. Took his body already? 82. Yeah, I think I might just stick with the turtles. Easier to kill. Gives me more curtain. Might as well, right? Why not? Where was that? There was a... Uh, there you are. There's a turtle all the way up there. Where you at? Where you at? Okay. I'm coming in. Um, 120. Disgusting. One 
120 again? Hold up. I'm supposed to be doing 800 to this guy. What's going on? This will, this will be this will be good enough. What level are you? Did I just say 120? Oh, never mind. Just 20. Okay. We're fine. Honestly, that's probably like easier killing wise. I mean, I didn't take that long to kill him, at least. Uh, let's give you more melee. I want you doing more damage, my friend. We're at 99. I think for an Argentavis saddle, you need 150. So we got a little bit more to go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Line up. Why am I not doing uh, 800 damage like I'm used to? What's going on? Did I mess up? No, 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 no. Something's wrong. Something's wrong here. Let me let me hop off. Get back on. All right. I'm supposed to be doing a lot more damage than that. I don't know if hopping off and hopping on fixed it, but here we go. No, 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 no. What's going on, guys? Hmm. Yeah, seriously, I have no idea why I'm not doing my uh, my big boy damage. Maybe, maybe it's because a weapon thing. Maybe that's why? Question mark? Or is it my weight? Is it my weight? Is it my weight? I'll keep this pelt, actually. Goodbye, mutton. We can get plenty more of you somewhere. Oh, my curtain! No! curtain oh no this is this is horrible i might as well just pick up everything so i pick up my curtain oh wait pick up all nearby there we go okay i picked it up i picked it up i picked it up um here we go Gotta be careful. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Problem solved. Problem solved. I think it's because his weight. I think I do have a lot of this. Just random stuff on me, but I'm pretty sure that's why. Okay, take 20. Let's go. There we go. I like to see the 800 damage. Gotta get that guy to like a thousand. Ah! Oh, sorry. I thought he was gonna do the big boom. You must be high level, brother. Ah! Sixteen hundred damage. Yeah, this one's a high level. Not high enough. Oh. Twenty four. Oh my. Hold up. You're a survivor. Level 145. Can I get 145 curtain from you though? Probably not. There we go though. And just 14. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the turtles. They seem to give me more. I think there was. At least I thought there was another one somewhere over here. I love doing that. Hello. Ah! Back up. Back up. You want some of me?
That one didn't give me any curtain. 18. 18. It's a little bit more and I'm, and I'm good. It's a little bit more. Oh, turtle. Gosh dang it. Red turtle looks cool. Ha! There we go. That's enough. All right, let's head back home and let's make this sad. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, a lot of stuff has happened. All right, I, I promise you guys, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. Okay, I, yeah, I, I might have murdered. Maybe two dinosaurs, but it's okay. Look, okay. I was trying to tame a Dodicarus. Like, you know, I, I told you guys I need a stone. So I make a trap so I can make a trap for the T-Rex. You know what I mean? Everything was going fine. Everything was going smooth until the Dodicarus ended up curling on me. He curled like 20 times. Like, I, 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 I don't understand why. Well, I understand why. Because, you know, it's a Dodicarus and that's kind of what they do. You feel me? But... At the same time, I need you, buddy. I need you. And uh, I got frustrated. I got frustrated with the Dodicarus, and the Dodicarus ended up dying. So I was like, you know what? I don't even need a Dodicarus. What I'm going to get, what I'm going to. I lie. Okay, I still need a Dodicarus. I, I very much still do. Most definitely need a Dodicarus. It's just my method. My method of obtaining the Dodicarus has changed, my good friends. That's the important part here. My method of obtaining the Dodicarus has changed. So we're getting, uh, we're, we're getting an Anki. All right, we're we're uh, we're taming an Ankylosaurus. Uh, I gotta make sure you still have berries, which you do not, which means I have to get you some berries. But yes, our methods have changed, and we are still going to be taming a Dodicarus. However, first we must tame the Ankylosaurus, and the reason why we must tame the Ankylosaurus first is so we could get ourselves some simple ammo to put inside of our sniper rifle, so that when we do shoot the Dodicarus, we don't do any damage to him and he doesn't curl up into a ball. And that is the game plan, my friends. See, I have it all worked out. I have a plan for it and everything. Uh, I miscalculated the amount of metal I needed because I need a saddle for this ankle source so I can actually get the metal to use to actually craft the simple bullets, to craft the tranquilite. There's a whole there's a whole method for this, okay? I got everything. Trust me when I say this, everything is absolutely under control, okay? I've got this, okay? I've got this. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Um. Trust me. So first things first, uh, you need to get actually tamed up here. You got six. Uh, that should be enough. Uh, I was missing metal. That's the last thing I needed. One more metal and I should be able to make the Ankylosaurus uh, saddle up in here. Let me see, Ank. Uh, we need to hide. Ooh. Wait, I have hide on me. Yeah, I got 127 hide on me. Here, take this. Have fun. Do I, uh, I need more hide, don't I? Damn it, I need 260 hide. Shouldn't be too hard to get though. Um, Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take the, yeah, I'm gonna take the saddle off of you. And we are going to be riding you instead. I swear I had a griffin over here. Oh, I do. You might have some, uh, you do, you got a lot of hide on you. What is this? A packy? Disgusting. I'll take that though. Uh, Thank you, sir. And as far as what's on you, eh, yeah, you can, you know what? Here you go. Don't die on me. He needs some raw meat. Okay. He needs some food. He need food. All right. Here you go. Here's your saddle back, my good friend, so I can actually use it. Here's a lot of leather. Um, and the metal should be. Oh, now I'm about to die. The metal should be done now. Here we go. Boop. And we'll put you back there. Here's your metal, and can I get me an Ankylosaurus saddle? Yes, I can. Thank you. What are we looking at? 63%, seven more, a little bit more, and we're, we should be good. We should be solid. Um, I'm going to be farming a lot of metal on this dude, which means I probably should invest into a lot more forges than I currently have. Um, and yeah, now one of my big problems is wood. That's going to be one of my largest problems in this area. 
there's not a lot of trees. I mean, there's trees. You know, obviously there's trees. There's just not a lot, like, uh, inside of the forest or whatnot. So, um, wood is going to continuously be a problem for us. One that I'm not sure how to solve, but I know that I'm going to have to figure out how to solve it eventually. Um, now, there are stegosauruses on this, on this map, okay? There's stegosauruses, which is a good thing. Only reason why it's a good thing is because stegos are eh, decently good at collecting wood. Um... However, I'd rather I'd rather have a Therizinosaur or a Mammoth or, you know, a Thorny Dragon. You know, something along those lines because they're just better at collecting wood. Like, look at that. I only got 70 wood from that. You know, and I don't think trees regenerate. Like, I think once I, um... I think once I collect all the trees here, that's pretty much... That's pretty much it. No more trees, and I'm about to, uh, I'm about to be dehydrated. <laughs> However, while I'm here, I might as well collect what that's here as well. Probably there's what down here. But yeah, we're definitely gonna more than likely tame ourselves a Stegosaurus. It just sucks because of the speed of the Stegosaurus. It's like really, really bad. Um, but I mean, that's the only way that I could think of is getting wood. Getting wood with my axe isn't bad, though. I mean, 300 wood here, 300 wood there, all the wood in the world, put it on the ankleless source, only halfway storage is being used, and considering the fact that I haven't leveled up this guy at all, I think that's pretty solid, you know? I think getting wood in this method would be pretty decent for now until we figure out something a little bit better. Um, but let me see what else I need to actually make ourselves a forge here. I want to make at least three of these guys. So I need fiber. Come on, come on, come on. What, what, what do we have in here? We got the fiber. Boom. Fiber check. We need uh 20 wood, which we can make five with just one stack. So that's good. Um, we need flint, hide, and stone. Of course we need stone. Of course we need stone. Hide were checked off on the map or list of things that we need. Um, flint, and the only thing is left is stone, which there's stone all the way around us. And I'm, I'm happy I'm, I'm uh, taming myself with ankle swords because the ankle swords, although it's not as great as gathering stone as the Dodicarus is, it can still gather a decent amount of stone, which is also a really, really good thing. The only thing is it doesn't automatically gather stone, which sucks, which means I have to ride the ankle swords, which means I need the saddle, which is the main reason why we're crafting the saddle. How many forges can I make now? Uh, one. Thank you. I need that one forge. I want to have at least three, so I think after we uh, completely destroy this really large rock, this should be the last one that we need to destroy in order for us to have three forges, which, in my opinion, is ideal if you're going to do mass metal farming. We can make another one. Might as well just make it. Why not? Alrighty. We go and um, let's go. Actually, I guess it didn't really matter. Um, it's a little bit. Uh, can I fit one on this corner? No, damn. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Ankylosaurus is up. Just in time, actually. I guess that'll work, and I can't fit one there. I don't know if it's because Mr. Anky or Mr. Argentson is in the way. But in the case it wasn't because oh, Here we go. I can fit one. Boom. Which means I probably could have fit one here, but uh, whatever. I digress. All right. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna put the rest of you back on here. I'm gonna put the berries on you too, cause I don't have any storage devices in my vicinity, which sucks. But is the truth. And Mr. Ankylosaurus, congratulations. You are now my bread and butter. Thank you. Um, how do I want to get you out of here? I guess I'm going to be riding you a lot. So. Don't do like that. I don't think there's any metal in this area, though. But like I said, I need stone and a lot of it. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey, you actually. No, 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 no. I'm going to have you follow me. I'm going to put all the stone in this Argentavius here. I think I might not be close enough. Look at that. It's beautiful. Hey! Follow me. 
What's going on? Excuse me? Weird. Okay. Weird. Didn't realize, even though I'm doing this for stone and I'm getting like an okay amount of stone, I'm getting a lot more uh, metal. Try and not complaining about. What else does he do? He gathers berries? I didn't know he gathered berries. That is music to my ears. What should we upgrade here? Probably weight, right? Um, yeah. I'm thinking we do weight. We already got like 100, 300 stone. A lot flint. 63 metal. Not bad. We need a lot more. But not bad at all. Can I, uh, can I reach you? No. <sighs> Come on. We can make it. We just need to touch him. We could touch him. We just need to touch him. Come on. We can do it. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Do it like this. You can carry all that, right? Yeah, you got 704 weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're solid. How do you do against wood? 52 wood. Hmm. Meh. I don't know how I feel about that. It's whatever, though. These little small rocks are gonna kind of be a little nice, though, I'll be honest. I'd rather be rocks, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Alrighty. Get some more weight on you. I wonder if that weight level that he has, the 450, is like bad or not. I'm not really familiar with weight levels on Ankylosaurus. I actually have no clue if that's a good weight or not. I mean, it seems kind of low. 400 weight does, does seem like a little bit on the low side. But at the same time, I don't think he gets... Oh, he does get a weight reduction. To, I know he got a weight reduction to um, metal, but it seems like he gets like a half weight reduction to stone, which I want to say is the same as the Dodicarus. Might be wrong on that. Can I can I hit you? Yeah, you're unharvestable. You're a big mountain rock, but you're also not a big mountain rock at the same time, unfortunately. All right, we are steps, steps closer. Honestly, bro, I could just use this guy for stone farming and I could honestly just tame the Tyrannosaurus Rex or make a Tyrannosaurus Rex taming pin from just guy stone. Cause I was, I was, I honestly wasn't expecting him to, uh, to make all the stone. But I would not mind at all. Like, look at this, this isn't bad. That's not bad at all. I think I have enough stone to like make the trap too, you know? Gosh dang it, I'm not close enough. All right, you're at six hundred out of four. You got a lot of flint. I'm not gonna need flint for a while. Um, yeah, I don't feel like riding you anymore. We're just gonna have you do this. Hey, where are you going? Come here. All right. Go back over there. All of you. I command. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Um, I think this is well enough stone to make what I need to make, which honestly isn't even that crazy. Um, 
so yeah we're gonna do that we're definitely gonna do that that's what we're gonna do uh yep we're gonna do that uh let me think about how we're gonna do that because i kind of forgot we had enough woods too yeah let's go ahead and make it um so for this i believe let's just get all this stone out of here we don't even need all the stone we just need like pretty much that okay so we need four of these whoa what are we missing wood i'm lacking on wood which we have wood very nice very nice do we have enough wood i have no idea but we're gonna use four of these oh sorry four of those and then a bunch of these Um, stairs. That's what I'm missing. Stairs. I almost forgot about stairs. Um, I think I need more stone. Yeah, I think I need more stone. I'm missing like one stair, I think. Man, I'm missing like just a slither of stone right now. It's crazy. Right? It's stone that I'm missing. Not that, right? Yeah, it's gotta be stone. I'm just making sure. Because <laughs> I truly don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's stone. I need two stone. I, I need two stone. I need two stone. That's wild. The fact that I need two stone. There we go. Okay, now I can make me a stair. All right, um, let's see here. I'm gonna ride my griffin. Why not? It's a griffin riding day. Where are we putting this trap? That's the big question. Definitely not putting up here. That's just not smart. Um, where is the... Oh, that's an Arditavis. I thought it was a griffin. Where is the T-Rex? Oh, I think that's him. Or one of them. There he is in his glory. We could put the trap right here. We could just like lead him up here and then just trap him right here. Thinking right here is the play. There are some hyena dogs over here though. Not liking that. They must die. Or run. I mean, they can run too, I guess. I wonder. Are they still going to run for me? Hmm. I wonder why they're running for me. No way I hit that. Oh, well. I mean, I just don't want them to, like, attack the T-Rex whenever I, like, trap them. Or, like, knock them out. That's, like, my only concern. But as long as they stay away, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Uh, He's going to come this way. We can put the trap right here. Assuming this works... I think I need to make it one bigger, though. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I think I need to make it one bigger. So that means we need to get ourselves two more foundations. And maybe some more stairs. Because this is going down on the slope. Nah, T-Rex can walk up that, right? I wouldn't even be able to... Put that down if I wanted to. Um, unless we, like, guide him up here and then, like, turn him around and then 
do it like that. Which I mean, we can. I think we should. Just to... Because I know for a fact that's going to work, right? Just to make sure it works, I think we should do it that way. And we don't, like, use up as many resources doing it like this. That way it's like a smaller gap. You can obviously walk up that, right? All right, and I also need you guys. Because I don't think a T-Rex is going to fit in a 2x2. Two two. I think if I make it a 2x3, we should be fine. All right, so I just need two more foundations. Um, and two more door frames. That should be it. Two more foundations, two more door frames. Two more foundations and two more door frames, which also means I'm going to need a lot more stone. Come in with me. I don't even think I started cooking that metal. This should be it right here. Are you the one that has the wood? No, you're not. Okay. That's fine. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Who has the wood? You have the wood, right? Whoa! I have the wood. It's in my inventory. Smart. Okay, cool. Um. Alright, so I need this, this, this. And let's go for some stone here. And I'm missing thatch. You got the thatch. Thank you for the thatch. I appreciate the thatch. Thank you for the thatch. I need more stone foundations. One, two, done. And... I think I'm lacking on the wood now. I am most definitely lacking on the wood. Which is fine. We can easily get wood. Nice little small travel to the remaining trees over here before they all go extinct because I am lacking in a wood dinosaur gatherer guy. Sadly, and my axe is about to break too. Alrighty. Um. I think this is all I need. I think. Let's go see. If so, let's prepare to tame ourselves a T Rex level 115. I have 83 tranquilizer arrows. Not sure if I'm going to need more than that, considering that my crossbow does 180% more damage. Which in my head also means it does more torque whenever it like shoots something. So, I mean, but for a level 150, I guess it's better to be on the safe side, right? How many regular arrows do I have? I have 83 stone arrows. Oh, I actually have 30 something tranks. Yeah, we, we definitely need more. We definitely need more tranquilizer arrows. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize it was that low. I thought the 83 was my tranks and uh, the, the, the other one was just stone. Oh, well. So, yeah, we're going to put that there and the rest is just self-explanatory. The rest all the way up here like that. And that's it. So then we just lead the dinosaur. Or the, the T-Rex right in here. He drops down. He's stuck. And then we just shoot him a bunch of times. All right. I will be right back. I got to go get me some tranks. And we're going to trap this guy. Let's see what happens. We have done it. We have officially trapped him, my good friends. A level 150 monster. I don't, I don't know why he thinks... Oh, shoot! 
That hurt. That hurt. I'm sorry. I don't know why he thinks he can eat stone. No, no. You can't bite me. I'm too far away. You cannot hurt me, my friend. You cannot bite me, my friend. Soon to be friend. Right now, you're not my friend. Right now, you're not my friend. But soon, we will come together and we will conquer the world. That is our future. I'm going to put some more arrows to this man's butt crack. And uh, whenever he's knocked out, I will see you guys then. Let's do it. The big baby is asleep. And uh, surprisingly, I took away like 4,000 of his health. Like four or 5,000 of his health, surprisingly. Um, I wasn't even planning to. I think I had like maybe like 228 tranquilizer arrows. So we put like a good 50 into him. And each and every one of them did like 60 damage. So whatever 50 times 60 is, I wasn't expecting. Maybe a little bit more, but... You know, I mean, he was around for a while. So more than likely, he got into fights before I like tried to tame him. So I think that's the reason why his health was so low. Um, but other than that, let's look at his stats. He filled me. Look at these stats. I don't know what good Tyrannosaurus Rex stats are. I'll be completely honest. But 7,260 health. With 228% melee damage. I think this should have been a little higher. Or like ideally a little higher would have been like nice. Um, but yeah. Um, stamina 1260 stamina. Which I think Tyrannosaurus Rexes have low stamina. So seeing 1260 on him I believe is like a good thing. Um, don't quote me on that though. Because I truly have no idea. Um, but yeah, we got ourselves a knocked out Tyrannosaurus Rex, which I think is beautiful. We're going to be feeding this guy some, uh, some yummy, yummy sheep food. As soon as I go get me some sheep food. Um, he should, I mean, we should have time, right? He shouldn't get knocked out before we go get sheep food and come back. Um, and I know exactly where it's at. I just want to drop off the majority of the stuff here. I, I think we're going to call this like base number two. We got base number one over there. We got base number two over here. Um, and I'm thinking about third location, like in the middle of this island. Like we're we're pretty much just going to completely decimate this entire island. This entire island will be ours. Um, at the end of this, uh, we're, I, I don't have a storage container to put any of this stuff in. We're gonna just gonna put it inside of you, I guess. We got a lot of fiber. Why do I have all this fiber? I have no explanation for you. I I I've got no idea why I got all this. Fiber in and flint. A bunch of I mean, I guess that'll be good for spark powder, right? Spark powder, gunpowder. We just need a bunch of charcoal, which means we gotta burn a lot of wood, which we've been doing like decently, I guess. Not on purpose, right? But we're gonna have to get a lot of wood. That's gonna be our that's our bottleneck right now is wood. Wood is definitely our current bottleneck. One that I have no clue how to fix. I did have this one theory that I could just go and tame a Therosaur. Um, and then just like cryopod it and just bring it over here. That way I can have some speed on me. That way I can have some wood gathering. You know what I mean? I just don't. Uh, I do have one at the very first base that we ever had. There is a theory. It's a low level theory. But a theory nevertheless. Got me a Dodicra saddle? Uh, print is, wow, okay. I like that. Uh, what does this even do? I think it just gives more armor to my dinosaurs, which, I mean, I can't complain because it helps, but like, it doesn't help that much. I don't know. It'd be cool if saddles gave like more, uh, more attack damage. We're coming for you soon, level 135 uh, Alpha Rex. We're coming for you soon. Not too soon. Not any time soon, but let's look at level 135. <laughs> level one, oh my god. We need those two. We need those two. We're gonna need at least like, I, I need at least five level 135 or higher Rexes before I take on that Alpha Rex. That That's what I need. At least five of them. Oh my gosh, bro, that's four. That's one, two, that was, no, that was, that was three. Level 90 isn't high enough. Uh, what about you? Level 50, yeah. We'll find one, though. Like, it can't be that hard. It will not be that hard for us to find a fifth Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, level them all up. You know what I mean? Um, and then just take on that Alpha. I've never taken on an Alpha Rex before. Nevertheless, a level 135 Alpha Rex. Never, ever, ever done that. Which one am I on? Okay, I'm on my high level Griffin. I don't know why this it just stamina seems low. What level are you? 
the trees level 50 not good enough not good enough man not good enough man i don't even i don't even want to fathom how much health or even how much damage that level 135 alpha uh, rex is gonna do earlier i had fought a level 90 alpha raptor i kid you not dude must have like 5,000 health which is a lot for a raptor because i was fighting him on my griffin and it took like like 20 or something swipes for me to actually kill him i'm like bro you're only level 90 and you're a raptor at that imagine a t-rex that's 45 levels higher than you i cannot bro it's going to be insane it's going to be insane what level are you level 95 not good enough not good enough all right where's the sheep uh I want to say they're over to my left. I know they're over here. Just where exactly over here is the question. I'm thinking to my left. No. Guys, I kid you not. I came over here. It was like 10 sheep just, just sitting here. I was like, oh. I guess this is where I'm gonna get all my sheep for now on. And now that I'm over here, I don't see any sheep. I want the feed dude. Oh, there they are. Nah, we're good. We're good. I see a rainbow of sheep. I see a rainbow. I only need one of you. Hello. Oh my god. You get so much raw mine. I need to make a refrigerator so we can like just instead of like going out there trying to find sheep, we'll just have sheep. Like it's just it just seems so much better to just have sheep versus going out there and just finding sheep. Speaking of things to tame, I want a Maywing. But I want a level 150 Maywing. You see, that's the difference between me and Alter Ego me. You see, me wants the level 150 Maywing. I've yet to see one though. I know they spawn over here and they also spawn at uh, at the base or the base island or base I don't know opera uh, place of operation or whatever you want to call it I know they spawn there as well so we gotta check out some Maywings one of these days what level are you I see you Mr. Rex 95 I think that's just, that might be the same Rex from earlier hello Mr. Uh, Mr. Sheep We're so close. We're so close. What are we looking at? Still a little bit unconscious. This food is 200 below. I'm not sure how much food they gain when they eat. But I mean, if I'm giving him the best of the best food, right? The best of the best food. I'm expecting this guy to be like level 230 or something. You know what I mean? Like level 230 or something like that would be nice. It would be nice, man. Is this a swamp? That's a Sarko. And a Baryonyx. Huh. It doesn't look like a swamp, but it might be a swamp. Interesting. Considering that. I mean, I do need some. Uh, I do need. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Where were you? Where are you? That was a cappy. Okay, I thought it was something else. I thought it was something else. Uh, but yeah, considering I do need, like, water dinos eventually. I was not thinking that this was going to be the spot for me to get some water dinosaurs. I was thinking I was going to have to go to a completely different location to tame some. You know? Especially if we find, like, a level 150 Sarko. Oh, yeah, we're taming that. We're taming all If we find one, we're taming one, okay? That's just the rule of the game. That's just the rule of the game. Speaking of taming... We need to keep our eye out on one more high level Rex. It'll be a pain to get these Rexes over to the taming pin, um, which honestly, we might just make a taming pin over here for them just because it's going to be a lot easier. You know what I mean? Imagine trying to take a Rex from one spot to another through a bunch of dinosaurs that he wants to kill. He's going to he's going to lose aggro on you so many times. And there's like five dinosaurs. That just sounds like a pain to deal with and uh, a pain that I don't want to deal with, which I'm not going to deal with. I refuse. 
I refuse to deal with that pain, so we're probably just gonna make a taming pin somewhere over there on the high mountains or something like that, and then just call it a day and just tame all of them just like that. I think that's the better way to do it. But man, it's about to go down. It's about to be awesome. I can already sense it. This is gonna be the first of many high level Rexes right here. I can't believe this one was like 150. I got so lucky. Here we go. I wonder if I should starve tame him. What do you guys think? Maybe I should starve tame him. He's not even starving. He's at 8440 right now. We'll see. I'm, I, I think I'm going to give it like a little bit and then just to like get the most uh, most uh, bang for my buck. You know, I think I'm going to get just just wait a little bit. Just just a little bit. I mean, he's not going anywhere, obviously. So just wait a little bit. Protect him. Uh, make sure there's no enemies trying to get to him. Now I see you guys. I see you guys in the flip in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. I used a little bit of Doe Dicker, not Doe Dickers. I used a little bit of the, uh, the Dodo Dex website. Shout out to Dodo Dex, you guys are awesome. I used their website to look at the stats of my dinosaur and to look at if I needed to starve tame him or not. Two things. The first one being, I don't need to starve tame him. He needs to eat 300 food, which I mean, you know, 8,320 plus 300 is, you know, less than 8,700. So I can go ahead and start feeding me this guy. Speaking of that, I hope that this didn't, uh, nah, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Um, but apparently as far as my dinosaur goes stats wise, it's good. Like it's like actually kind of really good. Surprisingly, apparently the health and melee is the biggest things that, uh, it went into. It went in like 19% health. You know, like 16 to 17 percent melee and then like the rest of its stats were like lower which i mean out of a tyrannosaurus rex that's what you want right health and melee which i think is awesome now i'm not sure what stats is going to get after i actually am done taming this guy that's going to be the interesting part let's see damn 10,000 health 455 percent melee damage okay that is crazy he did get 11,000 food though which i mean he was at 8700 food before so i mean i guess it doesn't really matter but 10,000 health with almost 500 percent melee i think that is absolutely insane i'm going to try to get myself a saddle and just play around with this guy for a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to craft a saddle, which means I'm probably going to be right back. Um, and I'm going to put these stats inside the calculator to see if this is actually good or not. But so far, holy shit. All right, I'm back. We got the saddle and I looked at the stats on the website. Now, I want to say that uh, the stats really only count towards uh, towards like wild dinosaurs. It doesn't really count towards dinosaurs that have already been tamed. However, brother apparently that melee damage of 455 percent melee damage is extremely high like that's like ideal melee damage i want to get I, I want to i want to level this guy but at the same time i feel like he's just a perfect dinosaur and i want to i want to use him for mating so i actually don't want to level his levels as bad as that sounds i don't want to level his levels up i don't because I, I like in the short term holy crap leveling the levels up would be amazing but in the long term just getting a bunch of dinosaurs getting a bunch of tyrannosaurus rexes and like taming them and like hatching them i feel like in the long term it's probably better if i do not level this guy and just stick with the the base stats that he has currently which i'm completely fine with personally i am absolutely completely fine with i'm actually going to just put this guy in this chiropod here um and then we're just going to take him out i don't want to i don't want to take down the trap or anything He left a big shit on the floor. All right. Our first test subject is going to be this turtle. Three hundred and twenty four damage every single bite. Yeah, I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's bad at all. I don't think it's enough to go against the Alpha Rex, though. Not yet. Not just the, this instant. Not yet. I love this dinosaur, though. 
Oh my gosh, the stats on this guy are nutty. Holy, 10,000 health. I, I definitely want to get this to 1,500, I think, and then try to get my melee to 600, and then, like, I don't know what to do after that, but that's going to be the move until, until further notice. I think, like, look at this man. He's a freaking monster. He's an absolute beast. I appreciate you guys watching this episode. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and you guys have a great, wonderful day.